Hi folks, this is Max from OneXRoot.com. Now, if you try to install one of the latest Jelly Bean ROMs, uh, if you don't have the latest HBoot, if you haven't upgraded, um, here's a tool you can use. It's called the Jelly, uh, Jelly Bean uh, Firmware Tool. Um, so, to get your firmware upgraded, I've got an older HBoot I'll show you. Uh, go ahead and hold down volume down and power. Um, you can turn your phone off first, or you can just keep holding it down also until your phone resets and then let go once and hit it back and you'll get into um, this mode. As you can see I've got a really old H boot there 0 0.95 so I'm going to try to update it to uh, the late, latest uh, H boot 1.31 there's also 1.36 but you just need H boot 1.31 to flash the uh, latest sense based um, Jelly Bean ROMs. You can install all the AOSP, AOKP, uh, CM 10.1 ROMs without upgrading your H boot. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in Fastboot, all right, and then I'm going to connect it to my computer via a uh, micro USB cable. Mm -hmm. And let's go to our computer. It should say Fastboot USB, yes. All right. Go ahead and download FB, uh, JBFW Tools 21.7-zip. Uh, unzip it um, using 7-zip. And also uh, go ahead and double-click on JBFW. Uh, wflasher.bat uh, click on run and uh, you can also do a lot of things with this one but we're just gonna do a jelly bean firmware update um, so let's go ahead and choose one alright and hit enter hit enter again and then it'll say um, if you wanna make sure it boots uh, what you can do is copy one of your jelly bean ROMs onto the uh, internal storage of your 1x before you begin uh, I have one already and uh, also, um, yeah, don't. I don't think this. Uh, and then, and then you're you should be fine as long as you're in fast boot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and press enter. And is your H current H boot uh, version 0 0.43 or lower? I'm gonna say no since it's 0. Point, um, all right. Uh, now I'm gonna say I'm gonna hit enter, and it's gonna display um, my my CID which is ATC001 alright so you gotta find the one in your list so mine is in list one so I'm gonna press uh, one here down here uh, since in list one alright and it's gonna it says it's gonna update my H boot to 1.39 um, and it's also gonna lock your bootloader so you're gonna have to unlock your bootloader uh, again but it will update you to H boot uh, 1.39 all right, and it says it's locked successfully. All right, mm -hmm. and it says uh, once uh, press any key to boot your phone into RUU mode. So hit it, enter. Mm -hmm. All right, and uh, wait a few seconds until phone is in RUU mode. Mm -hmm. uh, my phone is in uh, is is showing the HCC logo. Um, in silver that is the RUU mode uh, and go ahead and hit enter alright and this will upgrade your H boot um, to I think the latest one here uh, it says failed so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again alright I'm crossing my fingers I hope it works this time there we go it's done um, and wait for the bar to fill all right, my bar bar is full, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter. All right. Um, next, it's gonna try to unlock my bootloader. Now, from here, uh, from here, you can follow the regular instructions on my site. Uh, but uh, let me show you. I'm gonna end it here. Let me show. Let me change the camera angle. There we go. As you can see, I've got HP 1.39 now. Um, I just gotta uh, now I, I'll be able to install the latest Jelly Bean ROMs. The reason why I didn't make this tutorial was um, HCC was just making it really hard. Um, there was so many different models, and you know what? It's gonna be hard to cover. But with this tool, you can do it for most of the uh, international One Xs. You don't need to do this for the AT&T version. I don't know why HCC did it. Uh, but uh, go ahead and re-unlock it using the HCCDev.com tool. Uh, and then you should be all good to go. Anyway, 
Um, that's how you can upgrade your HBoot easily and install the latest uh, Sense uh, Jelly Bean Sense ROMs. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Um, if this video has helped you uh, upgrade your HBoot uh, to the latest one, don't forget to hit that like button here, subscribe button there too. And also, I'll have a link to the XDA thread, uh, XDA user Stuart0001. Um, don't forget to donate to him. If you go to the XDA thread on the top left corner, there should be a big donate to me button. Um, you know, kudos for him to, for making this tool. And, uh, you know, it made, made my life a lot easier. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching this video. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. And I'm going to go install some ROMs again. All right, see you all later.